Korea, opening the way to the world of the taste. This time we're visiting Jongno, the stage of politics and culture in Seoul. The taste of Korea discovered in a traditional Korean house. The new Korean cuisine created with a delicate hand can be found at Men's Club. The menu of Men's Club has mesmerized the palate of the foreigners, communicates a different kind of attraction that can be found only in Korean cuisine. In world food, the richness of fusion-style French cuisine awaits you, all the more special as a place where you can taste traditional sauces together with oriental ones, Lezion invites you to a happy world of delicious cuisine. Jongno has formed the central area of Seoul, the capital city ever since Joseon Dynasty. Even to this day, the district boasts of being the foremost area of government, administration and commerce in Seoul. The traditional house village around Hiwadong and Isadong Street demonstrates the traditional beauty of Jongno. However, in contrast, the main road that links Jongno and Sejongno is filled with high-rise buildings displaying a very modern aspect of Jongno. Jongno is a place where you will find a mix of old palaces where kings used to live and buildings constructed with latest technology, a place where ancient and modern cultures meet. Hello everyone, I'm Jamie Yi, your food guide for Cuisine Korea. Do you recognize the place where I am right now? This is the Cheongdeokgung Palace, located in the heart of Seoul. During the Chosen Dynasty, many royalties used to reside here, so it's likely you'll see many architectural styles of its period. Today, there seems to be a very special event going on. It's the changing of the guards ritual. Whereas there's changing of guards at Buckingham Palace, there's a changing of guards ritual at Changdeokgung Palace in Seoul. Except for one day a week, this ritual takes place every day at 2 p.m. This is a recreation of the ritual of the guards who used to closely guard the king, a ritual that used to take place during Chosen Dynasty. This ceremony takes place wearing traditional ceremonial clothes and proceeds according to the music of traditional instruments. It has now established its place as the latest tourist attraction in Seoul. It is especially popular among foreigners who want to feel the beauty of Korean tradition. We just saw on the bus as we came past and we saw the guards and we thought that looked impressive so we stopped for a look. It seems impressive, visually very impressive. I'm quite impressed with their uniforms and um, we're just waiting to, to see um, what else happens. Um, from what I've seen, it's very colourful, it's very beautiful, it's good to see some traditional costumes. When the ritual is over, you can even take memorable pictures with the guards. In addition to Changdeokgung Palace, there are several other palaces here in Jongno. And after all the sightseeing, I'm sure you'll be happy to know there are excellent restaurants here. And the place that I'm taking you today is Min's Club. First, can you find Anguk Station of Subway Number 3 which goes right through Seoul City? Next, you have to find Exit Number 5 of Anguk Station. Come out of the exit and go straight down to the direction of Nagwon Market. Follow the Sokjongdong Road and go down 50 meters further and you will come face to face with a classic Korean house. This is Min's Club. You have to memorize the location of Anguk Subway Station and Nagwon Market. Then, you just have to find the traditional Korean house that is adjacent to Kyongin Gallery. It's easy as that. Min's Club. This is a fusion-style Korean restaurant which added new ideas to traditional Korean food. Even its exterior looks quite striking, doesn't it? Min's Club is one of 15 traditional Korean houses that has been designated as part of folklore data by Seoul City and it has been renovated into a restaurant. This house had been labeled as a new endeavor in the field of contemporary Korean architecture. Unlike its exterior, its interior expresses the atmosphere of the 1930s. The exotic dishes found in this historical building will act as a refreshing stimulant to the busy people of the modern times. This is one of the few traditional houses that still remains in Seoul. And actually, this is the restaurant that I promised you. So why don't we go in and check out what's on the menu. The western lighting which hangs in this traditional house is an unexpectedly stylish touch, isn't it? These elegant ornaments and furniture that displays the weight of time makes me feel as if I've gone back to the past on a time machine. Wow. The 
interior actually looks very different from the exterior. Let me ask why. 바깥에서 보기에는 굉장히 여기가 한옥적인데요. 속에 오니까 굉장히 특이한 것도 많아요. 예, 여기가 그 1930년도 초기에 어, 지어진 지역이기 때문에 네. 그때 서양 문물이 한참 그 들어오기는 시절에 한국 최초로 지어진 그 개량 한옥이기 때문에 서양적인 음. 어떤 그런 요소들이 많이 가미되어 있습니다. 아 여기가 이 옛날에 그 명성황후의 일가가 살던 집이었거든요. 음. 그래서 이제 저희 그 업소명도 민가 다헌 그 민신에 가해서 차를 마시고 음. 할수 있는 그런 쪽으로 이제 업소명을 줬고 외국인들을 대상으로 좀 파티를 삼았기 때문에 그분들이 쉽게 이해할 수 있게 그 민스클럽 그 영문으로는 민스클럽이라고 이름을 지었습니다. The house itself is a valuable asset. But the pictures and photographs that fill this house is like a museum. These photographs were all taken during the 1930s, and they all show us how Seoul looked like during that time. It really is drastically different from today's Seoul. 빼낼 수 없는 거는 바로 음식인데요. 여기서는 어떤 요리를 맛볼 수 있어요? 예, 저희 집에서는 한국 전통 음식에 사용되는 재료와 소스를 바탕으로. 서양식 조리법을 가미시켜서 만든 여러 가지 퓨전 음식들이 있습니다. Ingredients like eggplants and potatoes have transformed to a completely different dish. There are dishes made with familiar ingredients, but more than anything, their appearance look very unique. Just looking at it makes my mouth water. It is one of the most popular dishes among customers. Not only Koreans, but visitors from overseas can't seem to help falling in love with its taste. Now I'm really curious to find out how the food tastes like. I asked what customers thought about the food and the atmosphere of the restaurant. 들어오면서도 어떤 식당 같다는 느낌보다는 어, 집에 들어오는 듯한 느낌을 갖고 들어왔고 이 주위가 아주 높은 빌딩 숲 속에 있는데 이런 공간이 있다는 게 굉장히 놀라웠고 새롭고 돼지고기 커던 블루라는 걸 먹어봤는데 어, 굉장히 요즘 뭐 퓨전 요리들 많은데 퓨전 그, 그 소위 말하는 그런 퓨전은 아닌 것 같고 어, 굉장히 이렇게 우리의 전통적인 맛도 있으면서도 외국 사람들이 쉽게 접근할 수 있는 그런 맛인 것 같아요. 비빔밥. <웃음> Sorry. <웃음> you know what? I don't know how to say it, but I love it. <웃음> it tastes so good. It tastes really fresh and very healthy, and I feel like I'm getting a salad plus rice, and I love the spicy quality of it. It's just fantastic. The fusion Korean food enjoyed by both foreigners and Koreans alike. I just can't wait to taste them for myself. The menu Jamie selected are these. The person responsible for the stylish dishes at Men's Club. Famous for her touch in creating new tastes, she is the main chef of Men's Club. She has high qualifications in both Korean and Western food. All the ingredients are on the table, and I think we're ready to do a little bit of the cooking. Uh, let me ask the professional what we're going to be doing exactly. Oh, 여기 재료들이 다 나와 있는데 오늘 맛있는 요리 저한테 해줄 게 뭐예요? 네, 이름은요 돼지 등심 구이고요. 여기 재료는. 돼지 등심 네. 그리고 여기 돼지 등심에 바른 고추장 소스인데요. 여기에는 돼지 지방 약간하고 사과가 들어가 있어요. 오. 맛을 부드럽게 해주기 위해서. 네. 그리고 여기 옆에 뿌려줄 고추장 소스 드레싱하고요. 음. 그리고 구워진 더덕인데요. 더덕은 쌉쌀한 맛이 나요. 이제 돼지고기랑 아주 잘 어울리고요. 소금물에 담가 놓으면 쓴 맛을 많이 빼줘요. In addition to the basic ingredients, fragrant sesame leaves, onions, red pepper, and mushrooms must be prepared. First, the pork is carefully spread out and slashes are made here and there. This makes the meat tender and easier to eat. Bonnet bell flower is placed on top of the meat spread with sauce and rolled up together. Here, if a fragrant sesame leaf is added, its taste will become even more alive. 고추장을 아까 많이 칠한 것 같은데 그러면 좀 맵지 않아요? 예, 고추장에 고추장만 썼으면 매웠을 텐데요. 네. 고추장에 지금 사과도 들어가 있고 음. 그리고 
돼지 지방이 들어가 있고 네. 또 다른 양념, 양파도 들어가 있고 양파가 익으면 단맛이 나거든요. 그래가지고 아 그냥 고추장보다 훨씬 안 돼요. Now it's time to cook the pork. First, lace the pan with oil and cook the pork while maintaining its shape. But it is difficult to cook the meat fully in this way. So the pork is put into the oven once more to cook fully. 여기 비빔밥 재료 준비해놨는데요. 네. 여기 기본적으로 밥 들어가고요. 여기 소고기랑 잣 볶음하고 음. 여기 날치 알두 가지 하고요. 비빔밥에 알들은 왜 들어가죠? 예, 네. 알들하고 여기 소고기가 같이 들어가는데요. 네. 어, 보통은 고기만 먹든지 아니면 해물만 먹든지 이러는데요. 네. 특이하게 두개 맛이 잘 도화가 되거든요. 그래서 아. 알하고 고기 요리 같이 넣고요. 그리고 알이 비릴 수 있으니까 여기 허브 다짐을 넣어가지고 상큼, 상큼한 맛을 더해주게 하고요. 소스에도 레몬즙을 약간 넣어가지고 알의 비린 맛을 없애고 건강식으로 야채도 이렇게 넣어주고. The ingredients that enhance the taste of herb mixed rice, red pepper sauce, cooked rice, vegetables, and mustard sauce to give a sharp taste. The meat is seasoned with soy sauce and other spices, and boiled rice is added to lightly fried meat. 심지어 야채들이 많이 들어가네요. 네. 그게 저희 이 비빔밥의 특징이에요. 아. 그리고 알파파로 맛도 좋지만 장식을 해주면 아주 예뻐요. 동그랗게. Can you see the freshness of the vegetables? But this is not the end. In the middle of the vegetable, two different kinds of flying fish eggs are added. Add some sweet and hot red pepper sauce and it's ready. While making herb mixed rice, the pork has finished cooking in the oven. I just can't wait to start eating. Mmm. You saw? This pork has no fat on it. Mmm. And the sauce makes it taste like barbecue. And on the side, there are sauteed vegetables. Mushrooms and onions and sort. Goes very well. When you don't have an appetite, try mixing up some herb mixed rice. It tastes. Mmm. Every time I chew, I could taste the fish eggs popping in my mouth, which adds to the flavor. And you wouldn't think with all the mixture of the different vegetables and the ground beef, rice, that it would taste kind of weird, but Take my word for it, it complements each other. At Min's Club, a variety of upgraded Korean food has applied cooking methods of Western cuisine. The chewy taste of grilled salmon with spicy sauce is the best. The chicken placed in a fried tortilla cup together with fragrant sauce stimulates the appetite. You will certainly regret if you don't try this roast beef slices filled with sticky rice. The sea bram covered with tasty sauce will certainly move you. The dishes that please the eyes and mouth. Each unique quality of the dishes will make you experience new pleasures. It's always nice to have a friend that knows all the great little restaurants. And you could put me down on your list as your personal guide. But there's another person that you can count on, and that's Jennifer with World Food. Here in the central area of Seoul is Chongno, where the modern and traditional cultures of Korea coexist. Now, there are lots and lots of things to see in this area, so if you're ready, let's take off. Chungno, a place concentrated with major banks and government offices. However, many would name Insadong as the most attractive area without hesitation. The street of Insadong, loved by foreign tourists, is a place where you can feel the tradition of Korea. From wooden handicrafts to statues of Buddha, the area is filled with objects that display the styles of Korea. No wonder Insadong is known as a place abundant with things to see. Now that we have satisfied our eyes with beautiful artwork, let's go to Lucien, a French restaurant, to satisfy our taste buds. In order to find Lucien, it is easiest to start off from Gwanghamun Gate. Have you reached the Gwanghamun Crossroads? Follow the Seodimun signpost and walk for about 5 minutes and you will see the big Kungang shoe store. 
Pass by the store and walk down 300 meters further and there will be the Salvation Army building. Across the street on the first basement floor of Hunguk Life Insurance Building is where Lushan is located. Let's take a look at the map. From the Gwangamun Crossroad, go down straight in the direction of Sodemun and there will be the Salvation Army Building and Kumo Group Office Building. Hunguk Life Insurance Building is situated right across the street, so if you focus on these two buildings, you will be able to find Lushian quite easily. And here I am in front of the entrance of Lushian. Let's take a look at the entrance. <gasps> and I see a red curtain as if we were at a theater. Well, let's open the curtain and head on inside. Lixian provides a sophisticated atmosphere with its interior that integrates the classic with the modern. These wines seen through the transparent window creates a unique atmosphere. When you go further into Lixian, you will find the walls filled with various photographs. It feels as if I am having dinner with world-famous celebrities. Convenience facilities such as a roll screen and internet lines are available here in the smaller room for business meetings. Li Xian introduces dishes that add oriental ingredients to French cooking. Popular for its French food that is harmonized with oriental style sauces, it is indeed a restaurant that has both tasty dishes and good style. May I ask you what you feel about this restaurant? Oh, I like it very much. Uh, it's my second time coming oh. here. Um, I think the food is, is quite good and the um, prices are reasonable. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's one of my favorite places when I come to Seoul. And since you've been here for the second time, I guess there must be a favorite dish. What could it be? Yes, one of my favorite is the, the king jumbo prawn. Mm. Uh, and also all the salads are, are quite delicious. Mm, that's good. Thank you. Well, I think it has a very relaxed, laid-back atmosphere. So yeah, it's nice. Mm, that's nice. Um, I can see that you finished with your meal. However, so what did you have today? I had a grilled chicken mm. sandwich. And the taste? Very nice with, of course, a lot of garlic, uh -huh. as it always here. Yes. Is nice. Lucien is divided into three sectors, which are traditional French, casual French, and the express bar. At the bar located at the entrance of the restaurant, you can enjoy simple drinks and appetizing sandwiches. These sandwiches made on site are especially popular among businessmen. That's a big sandwich, big and thick, and it's really, really full. It's full of salami, there's American cheese, and the white cheese, do you see? That's mozzarella, mm, and fresh tomatoes. Let me take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. It's quite good. Mmm. The tomato goes really, really well with the bread because it's very fresh. And I can also taste that uh, sauce. I'm not sure what kind of sauce it is, but it's quite delicious. Mm. And best of all, the cheese goes very well with the salami and the fresh tomato. It's quite good. The wine cellar that fills one whole side of this casual French restaurant. It's stocked with wines from all over the world, from California to France. As interesting as the interior decoration of this restaurant, the wine cellar behind me is quite unique. Now we can see all the wine displayed through a glass window. What do you think? Let's ask her a few questions about the wine cellar. Since Le Chien is a French restaurant, I guess I'll be tasting a lot of traditional French dishes, right? 이 저희는 프랑스 전통 요리에 동양적인 요소를 가미해서 새로운 프랑스 요리를 선보이고 있습니다. Before we taste the dishes, I guess it's only proper for us to find out something about France, don't you? The Eiffel Tower is standing tall in the middle of the city. The Champs Elysees, made more beautiful by the hopeful artists. This is France, the land of fashion. Since France is linked to the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, various edible ingredients had always been readily available in abundance. In particular, wines made with grapes kissed with the Mediterranean Sea have been evaluated as the best in the world. In addition to wine, another thing that made France famous is French food. Beautiful decorations and rich tastes, French cuisine is loved by many people of the world. Now I just can't wait to find out how French cuisine tastes like at Le Chien's. Among the many dishes on the menu, what I have chosen is this. The French tasting shrimp salad and teriyaki tenderloin, a very juicy steak.
creating the taste of Lucien, the main chef cooking up the unique sauces of French cuisine. Hello, oh, wow, I see a lot of ingredients in front of us. Could you tell us a bit about each and every one of them? Here we have the fried potatoes, beef tenderloin, spiced apples, fresh tomato. Yes, and what about these sauces? Here we have soy, medium. Okay. Here we have regular sake, and here we have a reduction of all three. Okay, so it's all mixed and it's become one. Yes. And what is uh, this over here? This is potato puree, which is a blend of potatoes, mm -hmm. fresh cream, and butter. Oh, fresh cream and butter. Yes, so it adds a, a contrast and textures as opposed to the fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. It adds a creaminess and a kind of yin and yang type, type thing. Shall we cook the steak first? The beef seasoned with salt pepper is first roasted beautifully on the grill. When the surface is lightly cooked, the beef is sliced into small pieces. Next, they are cooked lightly once again on the grill in order to bring out the delicious taste. So, oh, wow, what are all these for? Well, while the teriyaki tenderloin is grilling, uh, I'll show you how to prepare this, which is from our Lucian menu. Lucian menu, and it is? This is a shrimp salad. A shrimp salad. The fresh tasting shrimp salad, which goes so well with the steak. First, prepare pre boiled shrimps. Cream cheese and whipped cream are needed to make the sauce. We, of course, need chives, the herb of refreshing fragrance, and other vegetables for the salad. Add to this lemon juice to increase the clean taste and other seasonings such as salt and pepper. And, of course, lastly, tomato fondue, and we are all set. It can be made easily by adding meat stock to the cherry tomatoes. Now, shall we get on with the job of making the salad? Mix cream and cheese carefully, add in boiled shrimps and mix everything together. You mustn't forget to add in seasoning, of course. It's time to make the decorations. Make the salad into a round shape by pressing the mix carefully in the frame. Place the tomato fondue on top, together with other vegetables. And ta-da! The refreshing shrimp salad is ready. Shall we now finish off the steak? Place the roast apple cut into round slices on top of the steak and potatoes on the side. Pour the teriyaki sauce made with soy sauce evenly over the steak. We certainly cannot leave out the decorations. Place the fried potatoes on top and the dish is complete. And over here, right in front of me, are California French fusion dishes. Now, if you take a look over here, this is the shrimp salad, which is on the Lucien menu. And over here is the teriyaki uh, tenderloin, which is on the Little Chien menu. Now, if you take a look at this one over here, the shrimp is hiding inside. Aha! And take a look over here. Let's take a look at the teriyaki tenderloin. It looks delicious, doesn't it? If you take a look at it, I personally like um, medium rare. But for those who like medium or just well done, you could have it cooked as well as you like. Let's taste it. All together in one bite. It's a bit big, but I'll try it anyway. Mmm. The truth is really good. And just like the chef told us, the uh, tomato fondue. Uh, doesn't make actually the rich taste of the uh, whipped cream and the cream cheese. It's mixed together, so it has that cheesy, rich, uh, rich taste to it. About the tomato fondue making the richness of the cream cheese and the whipped cream go away. It blends very well. Ah, quite good. Let me try the uh, teriyaki tenderloin. Mmm. Very sweet. Very sweet, very tender. Mm. It's quite good. Actually, I would like to recommend for those who like to eat it salty, you could add a little bit more uh, sauce to it. But for those that don't like too salty food, just add a little bit of the sauce. I like it salty, so I'm taking a lot of that sauce.
Besides the dish I have tasted, different kinds of flavors of France can be found here. The chicken salad that goes so well with cheese and its unique sauce. Doesn't it look delicious? A salad made with tender bok choy and crispy dumpling skin. It is a popular appetizer. Pastas are also very important. Roll up the pasta broiled in concentrated sauce for a delicious forkful. However, the thing that makes a satisfying meal is certainly the main dish. You can take meat and lobster roasted on the grill with either French or Asian sauce, allowing you to enjoy fully the pleasure of selective eating. Being an area filled with cultural and historical relics, Chungno is a must-visit place for those wanting to acquaint themselves with Korea. Taste the harmony of California French cuisine at Chungno, where the modern city life and Korean culture coexist. Well, hope to see you next time again on Cuisine Korea for some more delicious introductions.